Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 50th tutorial in this course and uh, in this tutorial we're going to talk about private variables in Perl. So I have a script here that's called my underscore var and in this script on line number 3 I have created a variable, a scalar variable called var and I have assigned to it uh, uh, the value 500 and then on line number 5 I have created a subroutine called text, uh, sorry test and then in uh, side the definition for this subroutine I have uh, created another instance of the variable var it's just that this time I have uh, done it using the keyword my and um, uh, you know I've also assigned a different value to the variable this time I have assigned 50 to it and then on line number 8 I have a print statement that's first going to display the text value of variable inside the subroutine and then I have uh, printed the contents of dollar var there and then outside the subroutine on line number 10 I have made a call to the subroutine and it does not accept any arguments so you know I haven't passed anything within the parentheses just the name of the subroutine with a set of empty parentheses and a semicolon is going to make a call and then on line number 11 I have another print statement that's going to first display the text value of s variable outside the subroutine and then it's going to push out the contents of uh, the variable var. So what do you think is going to happen? The first instance of this variable uh, is on line number 3 where we've assigned to it the value 500 and then inside uh, the subroutine again on line number 7 we are trying to change the value to 50 but is this change going to apply? or not uh, remains to be seen so before we uh, talk about what the my keyword is for let me show you the output of the script so we see that the value of variable inside the subroutine is 50 and the value of variable outside the subroutine is 500 so you know that is what the my keyword does it makes uh, the variable private to the subroutine so when you make a call to the subroutine on line number 10 it's going to uh, you know treat this variable var as a local variable to this subroutine because we are using the keyword my here and uh, it's going to change the value to 50 there's no problem with this and uh, of course when you try to print the value from within the subroutine it's going to display the value that is known to the subroutine and that is 50 the thing is when this value is changed you also have a print statement on line number 11 so you know the value for var is changed to 50 and uh, that's the value that we should see here as well but here we see 500 and the reason for that is that this change uh, you know the change from 500 to 50 is only valid within the subroutine because of the keyword my and you know as I said this variable becomes private to the subroutine as a result of which whatever value you pass to it here is only going to be known till the time this subroutine is uh, being executed as soon as you move out of the subroutine and you get to the print statement on line number 11 it's going to forget this value 50 because uh, we are no longer within tests private space and we're going to fetch the global value 500 which we have assigned on line number 3 and that explains the output so the value of variable inside the subroutine is 500 and the value of variable outside the subroutine uh, sorry inside it's 50 and outside is 500 I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.